Hey guys, welcome back to another build video and today we are going to build the 172nd skill academy A10 Warhog. To start the build, I started with the interior. The bottom of the wheel well contained an injector pin mark. This had to be sanded down and filled. After completing the assembly of the wheel well, I painted the wheel well with Tamiya's X2 gloss white. After painting some of the parts with the gloss coat, I moved on to applying the decals into the interior. This included all control panels and consoles.
After putting together the rest of the interior, I then moved on to gluing the two fuselages. Once assembling the fuselage together, I then moved on to assembling the wings. After assembling the main components of the body, I then moved on to assembling the missile racks and missiles and bombs. After assembling the missile racks onto the wings, I then moved on to painting the landing gear. This revolved around painting the landing gear with Tamiya's X2 Gloss White. After painting the landing gear, I then moved on to painting the missiles and bombs. To paint them, I used a US Dark Green from Vallejo. I painted the main coat with a light ghost gray. Then moving on to painting the top section with Vallejo's dark ghost gray.
After painting and slightly weathering the turbines, I moved on to painting the canopy window. After finishing off the canopy window, I then moved on to painting the wheels. I painted the wheels with Tamiya's XF1. I then moved on to painting the underside of the warthog. After painting the details onto the Warhog, I then moved on to applying a clear coat. Once the gloss coat fully cured, I then moved on to applying the rest of the decals. After adding the rest of the decals and details and assembling the missiles together, the model was then complete. 